this in. This will straighten it up. Mom and I left for a couple minutes, and this is all put up. By Jim? By Jim? Are you? Uh, yeah. And so him? And Rick? Place. Jim and Rick? All right, so what are we, what are we doing? Let's we'll start with the uprights. Should we, wait, what, what is even left? Like, what should it look like? Should we ask Terry what she um, ordered, or just go for it? It's supposed <laughs> to be a double-sided, so that's why you have so, um, double, you twice as many of these. You're going to have a peg. You're going to have a foot on one side and a foot on the other side, okay. and a deck on both sides. So do you want to build the big one or the sh It seems like there's three panels left. So, because we have six panels and, and six of these, so that's three sections double sided. Yeah. There's two bases, right? Are these? There's four. Right? There's another base over right? here. Oh, these are shelves. Other shelves. So all you have is two. Well, we got two two of the big ones over here. So yeah, we can we build the big ones or two of the we small ones. We have two of those decks. Me too. What two? This. Oh, those are shelves. Those are shelves. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Yeah, there's only enough for one section back to back. Right here. Mm -hmm. And we've got like an eye for the so and cap. And cap, yeah. Pretty and much then. center with this, with the shelving, though. Or like? I think that's fair. Okay. okay. You said that you want. Try to, try to give yourself like three feet. Yeah. In between the end cap. Yep. So one, two, three. The end cap. With the end cap, you can't come any closer than this. Okay. So. How wide is it? Four, four feet. Well, it's four foot plus the end cap. So the end cap's five. a three footer, though. Yeah, but the depth is what you're concerned with, not the not the width. Because you're going to go this way, right? Isn't that what you're... I think we're going like this. The, we'll have one end cap, one the end caps here. You send it the same direction as these? Is that what you're saying? Um, so the end, end, one end yeah. here and one end here. So you, yeah, yeah, so the shelf is the same. Yep. So is that... Well, this one's... That looks like four foot, right? That's four foot long one? Craig, can you be able to give the Butts family a quick little tour? Oh yeah, they just got here. Yeah. Right. I, I, I'm having to reinstall the software to load to print one label, mm -hmm. so I have to do that. All right, Max, I'm in charge of. I'm gonna leave you in charge of putting this tripod where you think a time lapse should be. Okay. Don't be mad at me, guys. <laughs> That. So we could do it on a diagonal if we want to. If you want to do that, you could do that, but just come in on the back and down. Mm -hmm. But it. yeah, I did get fenced just okay. for some, because yeah. some of our bags are a little tippy. Yeah, and I don't know if you have anything in baskets, but usually that's a good look when you, oh, right. when you, you have it tilted Yeah, some things will be in, in baskets, or we might even do that over here. Of course, my fences are 48 inches, not 36 inches, so I won't be doing that over here. See what I mean about um, how these, it's similar to how grocery stores are, but fancier. Yeah, yeah fancier. Fancier. It's like an upscale boutique. Yes, yeah. but still practical. Yeah. S step up from where you're coming from. Hmm. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hercules Candy has moved to 720 West Manley Street, East Syracuse. Grab a map to the new location from the box on the front door. There's no box on the front door. Your dad's going to have to hang that up. Oh, man. Oh, golly. I hope he didn't leave his drill over at the other place. Yeah. Anyway, 
This is my last time closing up at 209 West Heeman Street. So this sign is going to get hung in place of the one that it's there, just announcing the Hercules candies. Mm -hmm. So let me remind your popsicle of that. And we moved all this stuff to yep. the new place. What's in the box? What's in the box? You tell me. What's in the box? This is a uh, clothing rack. Mm -hmm. 36 inch clothing rack to hang all, I think that's 36 inches, does that look right? Yeah. To hang all of our t-shirts on. The t-shirts will be delivered here on the, not here, there on the 12th. Mm -hmm. And I got hangers already. Wow. Yeah, hangers, t-shirts on hangers. And when they're available, they'll be on the website. They will. Maybe we could use Max as a model. That'll really sell them. Yeah, if Max will agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> I think he would. Maybe if he gets a free t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then this, you know, so it's just a circular rack, but then, but wait, there's more. There's a, a an insert that goes on top of it, just a round cherry. I keep going like this in case you guys don't know what round is. 30, <laughs> 36 inches round goes on top of it. And then there's a rack that goes on top of that for hats. Wow. A hat rack. Hmm. And today, when I was waiting for things to happen, I put together the hat rack all by myself with only needle nose players <laughs> to talk to. Okay, so. Looks like you moved some other stuff. Last time. Yeah. I mean, if I have to come down here for some reason, I might turn the light off. You might even have to turn it on tomorrow when you're grabbing stuff. Yeah, because we're <laughs> not quite. And that means you would probably have to turn quite it off. Out. Yeah. Yeah. No more of these ugly things. We yeah. have shelf channels now. Wow. Wait. Wait, so what are you going to do with these shelves? Take these off and we'll probably use them there. Put stuff oh, okay. on them. So like, you're going to say, I can take one. <laughs> I'm sure there'll probably be one available for you because there's a lot. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six. What? I lost count. <laughs> <laughs> there's just so many. This room's so big. Uh -huh, I lost count again. <laughs> six, seven. <laughs> I think counting up to seven is the harder part for you. <laughs> no, it's five. They got me. Sometimes I'm doing sit-ups. I haven't done sit-ups in a while. Anyway, sometimes I get messed up on number 14. Hmm. I go, go to 16 for some reason. Hmm. I don't know why. And this is the, uh, what is this called? Was it a cash stand or whatever? There was a cash was stand there. It was a, a twin to that. Yeah. So we took that one. And yeah, that was here. And we took it over there because there was guys with trucks here last Saturday. So we're like, hey, fill those trucks up. Yeah. Because your Uncle Joe, my bro Joe, is coming on Sunday too. So we'll hmm. grab that one too. Mm -hmm. And this table is the one I envisioned to be there somewhere for folks to just kind of spread their loot out on when they're trying to figure out... Uh, hmm what they got yep or sometimes people want to sit down take mm -hmm. a load off yeah sometimes people travel from pretty far away they do the butts family was here today they came from new jersey mm -hmm. and then they came over i don't know if you are aware of this but then they came over and visited us at the other place too i was i even gave them a tour well, oh well that you I are guess really you losing right. it today nah. mom's told me a bunch of things multiple times i knew today. that Craig. I was uh, your well earlier today there, was, Open. there were there were a nah. bunch of times that you told me stuff i know many times I know. <laughs> which is why i thought you were being serious <laughs> i got a lot of balls in the air <laughs> but the good news is i already got the mail and there's hardly anything in it yeah that's always good you have still nothing there <laughs> Oh. So are you going to be bringing that, a sign like that out to the new place every time you're outside um, or you not need it? We might put it out there and actually because the sign that we wanted we're not going to be getting so we're getting a specially fabricated one so in the meantime we might just stick this one out there just to mm -hmm. as a placeholder until we uh, can get the new one. Yeah. 